hello hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel and today we are going to learn about how to set up local administrative password solution that's called labs in intune so let's get started with this video so now here is the content what we're going to cover up in this video what is the local administrative password solution labs and labs capabilities what are the capabilities for labs and license and the prerequisite what you need to activate your labs and enable the labs policy how we can enable the labs policy in intra and create the policy how we are going to create the policy in intune and the local device setting and then finally we'll be deploying the labs policy in the test device so let's see the first thing is labs about the labs so labs is a inbuilt solution that will help you to manage the local admin password that you can manage the, through the intune console now when you use the microsoft intune endpoint security policy for a account protection to manage the labs on the device you have enrolled to the intune now labs caps capabilities what the labs can do it for you so set up the password requirement so define the password requirement including the complexity and the length for a local administrator on a device or rotate your password so you can rotate your password backup the account and the password you can backup and uh, backup the account and the password in the local active directory and the configure the post authenticating actions and the view the account details so you can view the account detail uh, uh, in tune administrator with the sufficient rule based administrator so you can view the account based on the your the uh, rights and finally you can have the report so uh, in tune provide the report for the password rotation include the detail about the past manually schedule the password rotation so now here's the license and the prerequisites so intune subscription you needed and the microsoft intra id so you should have the intune subscription normally uh, people is having the intune subscription when you are using the intune and uh, the intra id license so this is a, like a normal license when you are running the uh, intra and the intune setup definitely you will be having this license so no additionally license required for the labs now here is the enable the labs feature in infra intra so you need to go to the uh, all devices and then go to the all device setting and here you need to enable your the intra uh, inside the intra for your labs policy and now here is the where you can create your the policy labs policy you need to go to your uh, at endpoint security inside the intune then go to the account protection and create here is the policy that's called as a labs now here is a local device setting create a local account that you want to protect and add the account in the local administrative group so these are the two things you need to create on the test device and the same account will used in the account protection policy now finally we'll create and deploy the policy in the test device so let me move it to the intune console and the intra console so i can show you the practical lab here now so here i have login into the intra console intra.microsoft.com let's go to the all devices and the device setting so here you can see in all the device list these are my the test device and go to the device setting and under the device setting you should enable this uh, policy enable the intra account for this labs policy just click on yes and save this policy so this is the most important setting and you need the global administrator rights to enable this policy if not you will not get the option now let's go to the groups now and here is i created a group that called the intune labs where i'm going to deploy this labs policy so now let's be ready with the group creation and i have added a device that called the lab one now the third option is let's go to the intune console and the intune console you have to click on this endpoint security under the endpoint security here is a 
option called account protection so under the account protection we are going to create this policy now click here create policy and windows 10 and letter and let's go to the your labs local uh, local admin uh, local admin password solution windows labs and create this account now here is a i can mention the labs policy or i can mention it say prod labs policy let's go to the next and now here is a backup for the active directory so yes backup the password to the active direct azure active directory so this is the option for the local active directory and the active directory so let's back up the password in the active directory so password each let's be the by default is the 30 days and the administrative account if you want to create a new account and want to uh, uh, to deploy it so uh, i'm saying it's a uh, local admin or let me name it like a local admin and the password complexity let's uh, um, uh, let's go for the small uh, letters small numbers and the special characters password length should be i'm giving just like a 10 digit so that will be uh, allow the minimum 8 to 14 so either you can give the 12 digit post authentication action so reset uh, the upon this is your um, uh, your um, company policy based on the company policy you can define it so i'm selecting this one and the post authentication reset delay so that that will be in a hour like for the 24 hour or the four hours so let me give it to the four hours so now we are good with this policy and let me create now the default tag is not at all required now go to the next include and here let me include the group that group we have created so i'm going to add it here and deploy this policy on that particular group which we have created so now the group name is what we created that is for intune intune labs policy so select this group create it and now we have the one device inside the group let's go next and we are ready to deploy this policy so now this policy is deployed but we have missed the one thing before you deploying this policy you need to create uh, a account inside your the local administrator so let me move it to the my test device so now i have logged into my the test device and let's see what are the configuration we can do it here computer account computer management Okay, so here we need to go to the users and here what we can create our the account that the same account what we define in our policy. So let's see the policy what the account we are going to manage with this policy. So account name is a local admin. So same account we are going to create here. The username is a local admin the full name is local admin and the password you can set it anything for now that will be take over by your intune policy password never expire and now the second thing this account should be part of your the local administrator group go here and just add and advance find the account and see the what we created that is a local admin so this is the account what we create so now we are done with the uh, all the policies what we need to done it from the end user tip files either you can use the powershell script or you can create through the intune as well so that local account now the second thing is need to go to the policy and update the policy here 
let's go to the account now update the policy sync this device and now this device will connect to the Intune and it will get the lapse policy in this device okay so the one more thing is here need to go to the registry key and once your the lapse policy is deployed you can see the registry key will be creating here under the policies so still that uh, that policy has not created or the, the policy has not reached it okay come on f3 fine let me refresh this So still that lapse policy has not reached to the device. So you need to go to the your the software local machine software Microsoft and under the Microsoft you have to go to the policy. So once your device has received that policy, the pol lapse uh, this registry key will be here. So now the policy has reached and you can see in the local administrative account that's called a local admin. So local admin account is available here now. So policy has reached. Now let me log off this device and then we'll log in with the local admin account. So let's log off and let's go to the our this account protection policy and let's validate whether this policy is implemented or not still it not showing that policy has reached but actually it reads so this console will take some time to update the policy now how we collect the account the local administrative account you need to go to the device and go to your all devices and where we deployed this lapse policy just click on the device so we have here is a one device that is called lab one. Let's go here. And now here is a local admin password. So if you click here, you can see in the password here. So this is showing uh, on. OK, so this is showing the last password is, is old. So still that password has not updated. So this is showing the old data. So let's wait uh, until this policy is implemented to the device. Let me go here and just check the policy. And now let's see this policy has updated or not. Okay, so it's taking some time. Let's wait. Uh, the, uh, let's wait to update the policy here. Okay, so now policy has updated here, and you can see the last password rotation uh, rotation on the 28 on the today's date. So let's click here to collect the password, and here you can see in the account name is the local administrator, and uh, the local administrator password is here. So you can even copy, and let's give it try to log in with this account on our test device so this is my the password and that will change after the meeting so you guys cannot use it let's type the this password is local admin and the password is this let me type in so let's see now whether it will work or not Okay, so I did a mistake that it's G is it let me give it a try again okay so I think I'm writing the wrong password let me type it again so this is G J Y nine four seven X zero bracket start O 72 yeah I type it I think correctly this time 
so you can collect the password from your the Intune and then let me go back to the Intune console here and you can see the password can collect it from the Intune uh, device property and even the same password you can collect it from the Intra ID go to the Intra all devices click on the device and here is the option local administrative password and here you can see it's the password once you click here just validate your account is the local admin what you have set up you can click on the so password or you can copy it from here and then you can able to log in with your the device wherever you want and this is the next password when it will rotate it will rotate on the after one month so every month uh, automatically this password will change for your the local administrator so that's how guys the labs is working in the Intune and now easily you can create the policy if you have any questions you can write it down to me I will try to answer so let's see the this test devices were able to log in or not okay so now you can see in it's I am able to log in in my device with that local admin account and the password is uh, coming from or it's generated from the your Intune so let me see my the account who am I so this is a local admin account where I logged in and I can able to successfully log in in the device so guys thank you for watching this video uh, I will continue this tutorial if you have any if you want any specific video do let me know or if you want uh, if you have any questions just do let me know so thank you guys for watching this video see you soon in my next video